It's good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning, and we would ask that the Lord would be with us and send the Holy Spirit to give our hearts this morning. I want to read something to you that I got into on the computer the other day, and I thought, well, it'd be good to read, and uh, uh, maybe it would help someone. But it says, what is wrong? Worry is about a conversation you have with yourself about things you cannot change. Right. Prayer is a conversation you have with Jesus about things he can change. Amen. And so I thought, it, you know, it sounded real confident to me and I thought, well, I'll read that to the Sunday school class and uh, it might encourage him a little bit. We're gonna be studying this morning in the book of Matthew chapter five. <clears throat> In verse 1, we'll start our lesson. Read a little bit here. In verse 1 of chapter 5 of the book of Matthew, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into the mountain. When he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, Amen. We we need to take this in and understand who he's talking to and what he's talking about. We'll try to get back and uh, uh, give a few scriptures on it. But he said, Blessed is the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Amen. And blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Right. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they, blessed are ye, when men shall revile you and persecute you. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for their, for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And so right. this morning I read that to say this and to read and to let, you know, and to encourage everybody. This is talking about those that are saved. And, and you know, uh, it says blessed are the poor and i got to think well, what what would he what is he trying to say here about blessed are the poor because in our in our lingo when somebody is poor they haven't got a whole lot and this blessed i mean and, and this blessed is it carries the meaning of happy hmm. happy are they well i got to thinking on it and, and you know what he's saying is I believe is that they have got a they've got the, the spirit and they understand what the, the Bible is talking about and they they are they're looking forward uh, to increasing their their faith in, in the Lord Jesus Christ and so he says they're they're blessed because they have this this small amount of of, uh, of spirit and that they they are will increase and it's, it's sort of like the the uh, parable of the uh, of the uh, the uh, the uh, seed uh, the uh, mustard seed mm -hmm. and by the way uh, uh, speaking of mustard seed I just want to tell you this yesterday I was uh, giving out some tracks and some thanks to a, uh, a lady and I, I talked to her for quite a while, and she says, here, when did you give me this? I want to give you something back. And she gave me four or five little packages, little plastic things, and it had a mustard seed in it. And it had on there the uh, John 3.16 and, and something about the mustard seed. And I thought, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the mustard seed the mustard seed is the smallest, according to God's word, of, right. of, of all the seed. But when when it is full grown, when it has 
fully reach maturity, it says the birds roost in it. And so it becomes one of the largest garden plants. And, uh, and besides that, uh, he, he says to us about that, if your faith is like the uh, grain of mustard seed. Amen. And, and, and this is what we need to understand about our faith. It continues to grow just like the mustard plant. Once it, the seed comes up, it, start, it keeps growing. And here we see here he says, blessed are the poor in spirit. And, and we, are, we are saved and our spirit is not as strong as it will be once it starts growing and, and comes about. And so he said, blessed are the poor in spirit. And of course, there's a, 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 a lot of things that you can say about, uh, about that, but that's one of the things that I, 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 I wanted to uh, put out to you this morning is don't get down on yourself. Don't right. get discouraged about things that are not uh, like they should be. And this, this thing here where I read, don't get discouraged about your life and what's going on in it because God knows all. Amen. And, and, and the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, He's your Savior. And listen, He didn't halfway do the job when He, when he saved you. And you're saved with an everlasting salvation. And so just continue on because that devil is going to bombard you every way he can. Amen. And he's going to incur uh, discourage you. And so be encouraged because He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And so he says they're always uh, they're always seeking the kingdom of heaven, and that should be our desire this morning is to see, to to seek uh, what God has for us. And when the worldly worldly things come around, we should be able to spot them because that's what the devil would have us to uh, entertain ourselves with is the worldly things. Right. But you you think about the spiritually the spiritual side of it, and you may be. You may you may think of yourself as poor in spirit, but he says here that you're happy. Amen. Because listen, when you go to bed at night and lay down, uh, hey, do you do you think well if I die, uh, will I go to hell? You shouldn't if you're saved. Because Amen. I mean, you should you shouldn't think that because listen, if you're trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ and die for your sins then you're saved with an everlasting salvation. And so you don't have to go uh, go through these these torments. And if, if the devil sees that you, it bothers you, that's what he's going to do. He's gonna Amen. Do you all the time. So no, notice here, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be they shall be comforted. And I wanted to read you something this morning. If I can get over to Psalm 70, I believe it's Psalms uh, 37. Let me see. I'm, 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 it's a... Uh, I'll, I'll get to you in 71 or, or uh, Psalms. I will read. I will read Psalms 51. I think it is. No, 71. Turn to 71. I'll get to you. I'll get. I'll get right in a minute. Psalm 71. Well, I don't know if this is what I wanted to read or not, but what I'll tell you, I'm, I'm having a problem this morning. In, in Psalm, se I think 71 is what I was trying to think it was. But anyway, uh, let's read some here. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Amen. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Amen. Be thou my strong habitation, or unto I may continue, continually resort. Thou hast given commandments to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hands of the wicked, out of the hands of the unrighteous and cruel men. For thou art my hope, O Lord. Thou art my trust from my youth. And so this is what I wanted to, to, for you to understand this morning concerning this, that, that uh, back in our lesson again, we'll, we'll get back to Matthew. Yeah. This morning, I mean, yeah, Matthew. If I can find it. Y'all pray for me this morning. I'm having Amen. a tough time of it this morning. Matthew 5, back in Matthew 5, my markers are lost and everything. But anyway, he says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. 
And we this morning do mourn and we do, uh, we do have a burden on our hearts and it's, it's for ourselves and for our brothers and our sisters and, uh, and people that, you know, that we meet out here and they, they have such a, a, such a, a haughty heart. And, 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 you know, and, and this brings to my mind, I met one the other day, it wasn't yesterday, it was the other day, and, 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 and you, could just, you could just understand how that he was, he was talking about somebody that just recently died, and he said he'll get his reward because he beat me. Uh, listen, that's, not, that's a bad way to have, that's a bad way to be, and, and we should, I, 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 I feel sorry for the guy. Mm -hmm. I do because, listen, he's in, he's in, in, his, he's in bad shape. And we should not have a, a, a spirit like that about us. But here he says that, that blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the kingdom of, of the earth. Shall inherit the earth. And I want to read this now in Psalms 37. And bear with me as I turn over there. Psalm, Psalm 37. Psalm 37. He says here, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And so this 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 morning, fretting ourselves will make us sick. It will make us it will make us sick, actually physically sick. Because if you get to thinking about that thing, it will cause you more, a whole lot more harm than it will the one that you're thinking about. And he says here, fret not thyself because of evildoers. And what we need to do this morning, and will help us more than anything in the world, is to pray for those people. Pray that, they, that the Lord will stir their hearts and show them what their need is. Because he says, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like right. the grass and withered as the green herbs. And that's a terrible thing this morning to think about fretting against someone like that because it's already said what their doom is. Now, what we need to think about is how can I pray for that person? Amen. How can I ask the Lord to, to encourage him? How can I ask the Holy Spirit to reveal himself to him and, and, and talk to him? Because, listen, he's in bad shape. That's just... just just like this thing we had here happened here the other day with this young man out here. I pray that the Lord would, would, would let him live because if they killed him, I, I, you know, he didn't have no hope. Uh, right. of, of, I mean, I, I'm not saying he was saved or lost, but I'm saying he wouldn't. But if he's living, he's, got, he's still got hope. Amen. Uh, and so we need, to, we need to remember people and not think about our own self and what we our haughty spirits and our haughty feelings, but he says, pray for them. And he says, don't fret again for they soon be cut down like grass and withered as green earth. Trust in the Lord and do good. Amen. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Now, he's, he's, he's saying this because here's what we, we're, we can look forward to. He says, delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Now, if you're fretting because of someone else and what they did to you, and you, you've you got this bad feeling about it toward, listen, you can't delight yourself in the Lord. Amen. And you just cannot get close to the Lord because every time that you do, the devil's going to bring that up to you and say, well, yeah, but what about old so-and-so? Mm -hmm. Well, listen, that's the wrong thing for us to do. He says, here, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Now, if you're fretting here, if you're fretting in all this because of evildoers, the first thing you want to do is you want to see something bad happen to them. You want to see them, I want, I want to get him back or something like that. That's the wrong way to do it. Amen. But listen, delight yourself in the Lord, and he says, commit the, thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. In other words, He's going to take care of you, whatever. And if this guy has mistreated you and, and done you wrong, listen, that's between him and the Lord and yours. You haven't got anything to say about right. it. Because, listen, uh, he, the Lord has got it uh, all over. He's got control of it. He says here, And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as light and thy judgment as the noonday 
Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath, and fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. In other words, I'll get him back. Listen, that's not your place. Amen. He mistreats you or she mistreats you. Listen, you try your best. You try to get some or another and ask the Lord to forgive you of evil, any evil thoughts and you try to pray for that person because that's the best thing that you can do. Amen. You don't need to have that old haughty spirit about you because, listen, the Holy Spirit is dwelling with you. And if you get those, if you get those haughty spirit in you, the Holy Spirit cannot stay where that's at. Mm -hmm. And he will, he will, he, he, he can't stay there. And so it's the best thing for you just to try to keep a clear mind and pray to the Lord and say, Father, would you help that guy that he might see where he's wrong me and, and he might straighten out and he might do right. Because that's the only way that you can be pleasing to the Lord. And that's the only way that you can protect yourself. If you want to protect yourself, you pray to the Lord and ask Him to forgive that person that done that for done that to you, and ask Him to forgive you for having a thought of, 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 of trying to get that guy back. Because right. He says here. He says in verse eight. He says, "Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off. Amen. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Amen." For let yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Ye thou shalt diligently concern his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight thyself in the abundance of peace. Now he, he says the, the meek shall inherit the earth. Notice in our, in our lesson back in Matthew 5, he says in verse 5, he says, Blessed are the meek. Amen. For they shall inherit the earth. And this morning, that's what we need to be, is to try to be as meek as we can. And listen, it's it's not no it's not no shame for you to pray for someone that has done something wrong to you and the and, and the man the man the other day that I was talking to about that, this guy beat him. He beat him, he sold him something or another, and he, he was he called him out by name and he's and and, and he, he made some bad remarks about him. But listen both of them is wrong mm -hmm. and and this other guy was dead too so I mean but it, it, you know uh, that's not that's 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 just not right and it, it, it'll, get us, it'll get you in more trouble than you can you want to be in right now listen again here in, in our lesson he says blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled. Amen. Now that's, that is a promise from the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Jesus talking to the disciples. And this is this is some of the things that... And you know, He's saying this to them. And He's warning them. And listen, they were walking with Him. And you know, if they needed this, and them walking with Jesus, listen, we need it. We need to understand what Jesus thoughts are because he was telling his disciples this and and they were with him and they seen the miracles he did and they seen all this but yet he come right back and he says he's telling them not to do some of these things that they're that uh, that they sh they might be doing so he said blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy and blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god Amen. now you say how how can i how can i see god well, the Bible says if you're if you're pure in heart, now that I, and I'm not saying that it, that everybody's perfect, but the thing of it is, you need to have a mind like this. You need to have an action about you and a love in your heart for your brother and for your enemies and for all of it that uh, uh, that you come in contact with. And listen, you will have a merciful heart because Jesus Christ looked on me. Jesus Christ looked on you. Jesus Christ looked on the world and he come to this world. He said, Father, I'll go and I'll die for that. Amen. Amen. And he said, Father, and I commend my soul unto you. And he says, 
uh, don't lay this blame to them because he said they don't know what they're doing. Right. And there's so many people out there this morning, and, and you can talk to them about about trying to serve the Lord, and they they come up with things that and and they don't understand what they're saying, and they don't know what they're doing, and it's not my place to criticize them, but it's my place to pray for them mm -hmm. and 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 listen. Uh, I don't want to argue with none of them about what they're doing because listen, uh, ask between them and the Lord. But I can, I can pray for them. Amen. And it, it, I mean, hey, that's 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 what the Lord asked me to do is to pray for them. So I, I, that's all I can do. And so He said, "Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God." Amen. And and, and a peacemaker is one that has peace with people and and one that prays for people and one that uh knows the lord and and knows their needs and prays for them and understands their fault but don't go around and criticize them for it because they don't know better <laughs> they just don't know better because you take a, a person out here that's that's that believes believes things that some people tell they, they tell you that they believe Listen, and they and they go to church and they do all this. Listen, they don't know better. They just don't know no better, and they think they think in their heart they're doing right, right. but they're not. But here's the thing: it's not it's not our place to criticize them, but it's our place to pray for them. It's our pray it's it's our place to do that for them. And so that's 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 what the Lord Jesus is trying to to help them to do here. He says, now in verse ten, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake now again uh i'm sure i'm sure that uh i'm sure that while i be here uh people uh make fun of you and laugh at you because you go to church every sunday and you try to uh do what the bible says to do and uh, a lot of people say well i wouldn't go down there and give that old church my money but listen that's all right. That's all right. I know that I know that the Bible says for us to tithe, Amen. And give a tenth of our of what the Lord gives us, and I'm right. Doing it. And so I'm going to do it as long as as I can as I can. I'm going to, and I'm going to give it with a loving heart because that's pleasing to God. But and those that criticize me, hey, all I do is just pray for them and say, well. Lord, it's in your hand. You'll just have to show it. I Amen. Do it. And so these are these are some of the things here that I was thinking about as I was trying to read this. But in verse eleven, blessed are the they men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. Now he says, rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. And uh, how do you rejoice? Well, you're happy. You're happy in the Lord. And you're thank, you thank the Lord because He's forgiven you of your sins. And you pray that, that the one that's, that's uh, persecuting you, you pray for Him that the Lord show Him His, His, His ways. And, 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 Amen. And, 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 and rejoice. And re so He says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So these are some of the things this morning that I wanted to read to you. I want to bring out to you. I want to encourage you. And listen, a lot of times people say, well, that's not encouraging. But listen, you think about it. Amen. You think about it uh, during your day. And when these things, when they, when these things arise in your life, uh, if you can, and, and, and you read over there about what James says about the tongue. Mm -hmm. Just keep that tongue still if you possibly can. And I know he, what he says about it. But listen, if you keep that, keep that from flapping. And you just go somewhere and say, Father, I want to pray about that. I want to pray about this situation. And, and uh, I think, I think that you'll come away more satisfied than you would if you'd have told someone, well, I'm going to get him back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something that's so-and-so. 
And uh, because, listen, you're just just cutting off your nose by exposing. That's all you're doing when you do that. So this morning, I hope this will this will encourage you a little bit and uh, make you think about some of the things that that happens to you in the next uh, four or five days, or it's happened to you last week, or something like that. And just just take it to the Lord. Take take the thing to the Lord and, and leave it there. Don't Amen. Try, don't 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 bring it back with you because if you do, uh, it'll be worse because the devil then he he'll he'll use it on you. So, but anyway. These are some of the things that I hope that will encourage you a little bit. Thank you all this morning for listening. Amen.